Coolant is good. Coolant where it is needed is even better. Our tool holders and our vices, they don't need coolant on them. Where we need coolant is right on our tools cutting edges, right at the tips of our drills, right on our inserts. Now through spindle coolant makes our lives easier. And this is how. Way back in 1899, a machinist named C. Godfrey Whitaker wrote a letter to American Machinist magazine and they published it. Now he made the case that machines with coolant were the future of our industry. He asked that coolant be made a living feature of the design built right into the machine with a stream of coolant not only sufficient to keep the tool cool, but one that would wash the chips into a proper receptacle below and keep the deck at all times clean and clear for action. He said it would be a revelation for efficiency and cleanliness. I think that we would agree that he was on to something and he would be really happy to see that we have some amazing coolant provisions on our machines today, from coolant rings to P-Cool nozzles. But the absolute king of coolant delivery systems is through spindle coolant, TSC. Look, with some other coolant methods, our coolant can be blocked as our tool comes up against a shoulder, blocked as it goes into a pocket, blocked as it goes into a hole. But nothing, nothing gets in the way of TSC. Not shoulders, not pockets, not holes. And this TSC coolant is gonna give us better finishes and it's gonna give us better chip evacuation. Here, we really wanted to show you how well the TSC coolant works, even on a non-TSC tool in a collet. But we can't. Every time we try to film it, a deluge of coolant covers our camera. And look at this high pressure coolant through our tools. You can't tell me this isn't helping everything in a big way. Running TSC while tapping, whether running a standard tap in a collet or a true TSC tap, protects and lubricates as much as possible. Imagine this tap running in a blind hole. As a programmer, as a machinist, it's my job to make sure that the machine keeps running, unattended if at all possible. And TSC gives me that peace of mind. I know that I can walk away because I know that TSC is protecting my tools. Now, you know that grumbling sound that you'll hear that sounds like uh, your tool is chewing on gravel? That's the tool remachining chips that couldn't get out of the way. TSC solves this problem on drills and mills and indexable tools. TSC helps clear the path to repeatable processes. And repeatable processes are a requirement for automation, for running unattended. No machinist is going to vote against TSC because it makes our job easier. Now this is a TSC drill and it's gonna run worry-free because that coolant is right at the cutting tip and it is forcing the chips out of the hole. Our hole quality is better with TSC. Now there are different TSC options available. There's a 300 PSI 21 bar system that has great volume and will get us through almost any job. And then a 1000 PSI 69 bar system that allows us to increase our feed rates and run special tools. In general, the smaller the diameter of the tool and the deeper we are machining, the more pressure we might need. Larger tools have larger coolant ports, orifices. Smaller diameter tools, less than five or six millimeters, are where we will see the most benefit from 1K TSC pumps. With enough coolant pressure, we can run just about any tool out there. Gun drills, in particular, require high pressure through spindle coolant in order to clear the chips from those deep holes. Now we've made another video on PEC drilling where we talk about G83 PEC drilling cycles and how time consuming they are and how much faster our drills can run without pecking. And to drill without pecking, we really need TSC, especially on holes deeper than about five times diameter. TSC absolutely saves us time. But the real reason I love TSC is because it gives us really reliable processes. It allows me to sleep at night when the machine is being run unattended. And the benefits of TSC when drilling are clear. Coolant in, right where it's needed, right at the tip of the tool. 
chips out. On a side note, if you're having tapping problems where your tap is breaking on some materials, uh, the root cause might not be what tap we're using, it might be what drill we're using or what kind of drilling cycles. If we're peck drilling with flood coolant, with each and every peck, we're adding more heat into the material. And that heat can work harden our hole on a lot of different materials. The solution, go with a TSC drill. By using a TSC drill, we're removing all those pecs, we're hitting it in one shot, that alone is gonna introduce less heat. Plus, we're cooling the entire length of the hole with our TSC. Problem solved. Now, even regular jobber drills without holes for through spindle coolant can benefit from having TSC running through their holders. But TSC is not, not just for drilling. When milling on aluminum, we can run so fast and hard that we risk our chips sticking to our tool if we go even a few moments without coolant. TSC right on our inserts allow us to run our tools much faster on aluminum than with flood coolant alone. On steels, with the right tools and coatings, we don't always need coolant, but running coolant will give us better surface finishes. So, our finishing passes almost always prefer running with coolant, but it would be a big mistake to run dry for our roughing operation, heating up our tool, and then to turn on our coolant for our finishing passes. This big change in temperature can thermally shock our inserts and might cause them to crack. If we are gonna run coolant on these tools, we need to be consistent, and that's where TSC comes in. TSC gives our tools a steady, high volume, high pressure flow of coolant for consistent temperatures and results. Now, not every tool benefits equally from running TSC. I don't often turn on TSC when I'm just chamfering a part, but there are a lot of tools out there where TSC absolutely lives up to the hype. In fact, we'll often use TSC to clean off the chips from our parts, vices, and tables. Now, if you are not ordering a new machine with TSC for whatever reason, but you wanna have the option to add it in later, you need to order that machine with the TSC ready option. This option adds all of the internal plumbing to the spindle while the machine is at the factory. So a TSC pump can be wired in later. If you don't know if your machine has TSC or not, you can look for the pump or right from the control, we can enter an M88 from MDI, see what that does, or we can just press the auxiliary coolant button. TSC is not just about deep hole drilling. It's about the reliability of our processes, lights out machining, extending our tool life, chip evacuation, and most importantly, simply about reducing the amount of stress felt by machinists everywhere. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you think about TSC. What tools are you running that really don't need it. What tools run just fine with flood coolant? And what tools are you running that really, really show the benefit of running a 300 PSI or 1000 PSI system? Well, that's it for this tip of the day. And remember, nothing, nothing gets in the way of TSC. Now, as a closing afterthought, if you were reading along with us earlier in that American Machinist article, you saw that in 1899, they were using soda water as coolant. That was not soda soda, but soda ash, which would keep the water from rusting their machines. We would know soda ash today as washing soda or sodium carbonate, the main ingredients in some stain removers. Machinists would use soda water to cool their tools, which in 1899 were made of high carbon steel that would wear out fast from overheating. Now, they didn't even have high-speed steel yet in 1899, let alone the materials, carbides, and coatings that we use today. And we mention all of this just to serve as a reminder that we are part of a long tradition of innovation and craftsmanship. Be proud of what you do, and we'll see you next time.